Praise Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Shalom to my brothers and sisters. Santi Pop to my Asian brothers and sisters. Today's discussion is going to be about Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat lies on the border of Siam and Kampuchea, or Thailand and Cambodia. Angkor Wat means a city that is a temple. Also, it means, if you look in one of Graham Hancock's books, he states Angkor Wat means God Horus lives. And he broke that down by saying Ang or Ankh equals life or lives, and Hor meaning Horus or Heru. Now, Angkor Wat was built in the 12th century by King Sayur Varman II. And in 1177, the Kham army of China, now remember, Kham means black. Now the Kham army of China defeated Angkor Wat. And in 1181, King the VII won it back. Now, King Jayavarman the seventh, I am a direct descendant of. Now, there are more than a hundred temples in all dedicated to the Asiatic black man. The temple of Angkor Wat is approximately 36 square miles, which is a little bigger than two Manhattans. Also, the terrestrial placement of the three main temples in Angkor Wat mirror the stars in the constellation Draco. And it appears that the purpose of Angkor Wat was to architecturally mirror the heavens in order to assist in the harmonization of the earth and the stars. Also, it was intended to indicate the celestial phenomenon of the procession of the equinox. And the procession is 25,920 year cycle. Um, also, Angkor Wat three main temples are 72 degrees longitude east of the pyramids of Giza. Now 72 is a primary number in the sequence of numbers linked to the Earth's axis procession. Pretty interesting, huh? Now we all know that the earth was one land mass. We were once one people. So wherever you go, we are. Now the people that built Angkor Wat was another branch of Egyptians. The Egyptians traveled from Kemet via the monsoon winds. Now in October to April the monsoon winds blow from north to east from Africa to Asia. Then from April to October the monsoon winds blow from south to west from Asia to Africa. So you know that the people that built Angkor Wat were the Khmer Empire, were the Khmers. And the Khmer Empire people were related to the Kushite people. And they say that the Khmer people, along with the gods of the heaven realm, 
built the temple of Angkor Wat. Now, it is written on the temple walls of Angkor Wat, the similarities you can see between the Asiatic Southeast Asians and the so-called Blacks of America now. This right here is one of the faces on one of the 50 towers of Angkor Wat. The similarity you can see by the broad nose, the full lips, and the braids in his hair. Also here is another picture. This is another face on one of the 50 towers of the temples of Angkor Wat. You can see the broad nose, the full lips, and the braids in the hair. Also, here are the soldiers lined up at the uh, front of one of the entrances of Angkor Wat. You can see the resemblance of the Asiatic black man. The broad nose, the full lips, the thick hair, some of them even have dreads. Also here is a similarity between the Southeast Asian women and the ancient Kometan women. We are all related to the gods and goddesses of Kemet. You can see her broad nose, her full lips, and the braids in her hair. Also, here is another picture. You can see the broad nose, the full lips, the braids in the hair. Some even have dreadlocks. Also, here are some Asura on the temple walls of Angkor Wat. You can see the broad noses, the full lips, the braids, the dreadlocks, and also you can see the same kind of attire of ancient Egypt that the ancient Egyptians wore, the gods and goddesses of, of Southeast Asia wore also. Also here is a combined picture of the statues that are in the temple of Angkor Wat and the beautiful faces of the people in Southeast Asia. Now also in Southeast Asia in Thailand there is a statue of an Asiatic black man 70 feet tall. There are more statues of Asiatic black men and women in Southeast Asia than there are in Egypt, in Africa altogether. The reason why I am doing this video today is to show you the similarities of the ancient Egyptians and the relativeness of the Southeast Asians now. I want to ask you, why is it that more darker melanated youth of today, the so-called black Americans of today, the Southeast Asians, the Islanders, the Pacific Islanders, why are our youth more in games than if you look at the lighter complected Asians. Why is it that the darker melanated people, the African Americans, the Southeast Asians, the Pacific Islanders, why is it that they've had more harder times than the lighter skinned people. I just want to know. Because remember, 
We were once one landmass. We were once one people. So we are everywhere. I also read that in Southeast Asia, mainly in Thailand, that the darker colored people predominantly are at a higher uh, amount of people have AIDS. Who brought AIDS to Southeast Asia? Their Africa is the largest continent and it has the largest amount of resources oil, diamonds, um, coffee, etc. But why are my darker skinned people suffering so? Why are we having droughts and no one's coming to our aid? Why are we starving to death? Why do we have black on black crime? Why do we have Asian on Asian crime? Can't we see that we're all related to the ancient commitments? Why is it that we have to suffer so when we are the first people? when we are the indigenous people, when we come from gods and goddesses, when we come from kings and queens, why are we suffering more under white supremacy than any other people on this earth? Well, my suggestion would be that we all remember that we were once all the same people. So when you judge a book by its cover, it makes you look bad. Like Herbert Spencer said one time, contempt prior to investigation makes you look like a complete idiot. I am a descendant of King Jayavarman the seventh. Now, let me show you this picture again of King Jayavarman the seventh. An Asiatic black man that built the capital city of Angkor Wat called Angkor Thom. beautiful King Jayavarman the seventh. Please think about how we can all come together. Please think about why are we, why are our youth dying at the hands of ourselves? Why are we having black on black crime? Why are we having Asian on Asian black crime? When we are all the same people. Praise Yahweh bin Yahweh. And Shalom.